Hello and welcome back to the lesson 12 of the tutorial series Simulating your custom robotic arm in ROS Noatic In our previous tutorials, we had prepared a, a manipulator package for our robotic arm using the Move It Setup Assistant and we had uh, created some launch files to launch the simulation and we had also corrected some predefined positions for which we face the issues after launching our simulation in this tutorial, we will write a Python script which will set the predefined positions of the our robotic arm automatically so that we don't need to use RVs to give the commands. I had also created the similar kind of tutorial for ROS Melodic, but uh, that script was not working uh, for the ROS Noatic users. So I am going to show you how to do it for ROS Noatic today. So here is the new Python script that we will use for our today's tutorial. So let me show you this file. So if you open this file, here are different uh, few changes. I will not explain each and every line in detail. If you want to know about uh, this file in detail, you can watch the same tutorial I had created for uh, ROS Melodic. But let me tell you the different changes. So here, the first thing is we are adding few lines to add the Python uh, 3 or 2 compatibility. Then we are adding these lines to add the compatibility for the Python 2. After this, everything is same. If you see here, everything is same. The only major change is uh, in this line. So if you see uh, the code for ROS Melodic, we had only uh, one variable um, in the left side. And on the right side, we had the self.group.plan. But in ROS Melodic, there are few changes. I will explain you why we need to write the code like this for ROS Noatic. But I will explain this at the end of this tutorial after we see how to use this file. So let's start to use this file to um, control our robotic arm. I will close this file. Now, first of all, let us uh, launch the simulation of our robotic arm. If you know how to launch the simulation, you can skip the part uh, up to the uh, creation of the Python file. So, first of all, open a terminal and type ROS score to run the ROS master and press enter. Once the uh, ROS master starts, open a new window and uh, go to your workspace your catkin workspace so my is the move it underscore ws and press enter now type the command source devil slash setup dot bash so this will run the setup dot bash file so it will load all the environment variables we need now to launch the simulation type the command ross launch your move it manipulator package name so my is move it underscore robot arm underscore sim and type your launch file name so my is the full uh, robot arm sim dot launch if you don't know how we have created this launch file please watch this tutorial now press the enter key it will launch both the rvs and gazebo interfaces Now arrange the windows so that you can see everything uh, at the same time. Okay. Once you have arranged all the windows uh, carefully, open a new terminal. Now go to your workspace. So type the command cd the home, the home directory symbol, then your workspace name, and press enter. Now type the command cd space src slash your move it manipulator package name. 
Customize the move it underscore robot underscore arm underscore sim. Then press enter. Now type the command ls. So here you can see we don't have any folder with the name scripts. So the folder scripts is used to uh, store our Python scripts or any other uh, scripts which are the ROS nodes. So first of all we will create a folder with the name scripts. So type the command mkdir scripts and press enter. Now if you type ls you can see the scripts folder is created. Now type the command cd scripts and press enter. Now to create the python file you can either use the touch command or you can directly type the command gedit and the python file uh, name that you want to create. So I will name it as node underscore and set underscore predefined underscore pods underscore pods dot py and press enter. So it will create a new python file if it does not exist in the selected directory and it will open it in the text editor. Now uh, you need to copy the code given in the uh, this python script. I will provide the link to download this python file in the video description. So open this python file and copy the code and paste it in the uh, newly created python file and save the file. Now close the uh, text editor. Now minimize this window. Now if you type ls, here you will find our node underscore set underscore predefined underscore pose.py file is created. Now if you can see it is showing the file name in white. It means the file is not executable. So to make it executable we need to type the command sudo chmod space plus x space the file name and press enter. You need to give your Linux password and press enter. Now again if you type the command ls you can see the file name is changed to the green color which means the file is executable. Now as we have created the new python file we need to again uh, execute the source file. So again go to your Atkin workspace and press enter. Now type the command source devil slash setup dot bash. Now to run the file you need to type the command ros run your move it manipulator package name. So my is the uh, move it robot arm sim and the python file name which is node underscore set underscore predefined underscore post dot py and press enter. Here the python file will start to set the uh, predefined positions one by one. First of all it will take the robotic arm in the straight up position. Then it will open the robotic end effector or the gripper. Then it will go to the position uh, lift object position. Now it will go to the pick object position. So I will zoom in a little bit. Now it will close the end effector. Then it will go to the drop object position. Then it will open the uh, end effector. If you get this type of error you can ignore that. Now again it will go to the uh, lift object position. And after this point it will repeat the uh, position from lift object position, the pick object position and the drop object position. So this is how we can use the set predefined position python script to control our robotic arm. 
Now let us understand how you can modify this for your robotic arm if you have different namings used for your predefined positions. So if you can see in Arviz, you can see here we have the two arm group names, the arm underscore group for the robotic arm joints and the hand arm group for the end effector. So if you have uh, different names for these groups, you need to note them uh, somewhere. Then if you select a move group, a particular move group, here you can find all the predefined positions that we have defined. You can also note their name somewhere so that uh, we can add them in the Python script. Then if you again select here hand group, you will find the available predefined position. You can note them as well. Now let us uh, go to our uh, home directory and our uh, workspace. So mine is the move it underscore ws. Then our src folder our move it manipulator package here we have created this scripts folder you can open that and here you will find the python file so open that python file so in this file you don't need to change anything uh, at the top up to the main section whatever the changes you need to make are in the main section only so first of all here we create two objects First is the for the arm move group. So here we initialize the object from the my robot class and we pass the uh, move group name as the arm underscore group. And for the hand object, we pass the uh, move group name as hand. If your move groups have different names, you need to uh, update these names here. And then uh, before we go into the file loop, first of all, we set the uh, zero position for our robotic arm. Then we set the straight up position for our robotic arm. So here we use the command uh, the uh, our object arm object dot set underscore pose in bracket we pass the name of the predefined position. And the rospy dot slip is for stopping the uh, ROS uh, execution for one second. Then we open the end effector by sending the command to the hand object by passing the uh, predefined position hand opened. After that we start a while loop which will uh, run until the ROS is not uh, closed. So this uh, while loop will continue to execute the positions from lift object. Then it will uh, execute the position pick object. Then it will execute the uh, position hand closed. Then it will give the command to drop the object. And then it will again open the uh, end effector. And again it will go to the lift object pose and it will keep repeating these positions. And after we stop execution of robotic arm, it will delete the created objects. So if you want to change, if your uh, predefined positions have different names, so you need to change the string names only. You don't need to change anything else. So this is how you can configure this file for your uh, custom configuration or your own packages uh, or your predefined position names. Now let us understand why the file for ROS Melodic was not working in ROS Noetic. The first thing first is ROS Melodic uses the uh, Python 2 and the ROS Noetic uses Python 3. So here we needed to change this shebang for Python 3. We need to add the lines for the compatibility for raw Python 2 and 3. And also we needed to add these lines for the Python 2 compatibility. And the most important change was here in this uh, uh, group, uh, this plan function. So the um, so for ROS Melodic, this plan function returns only the plan. So in ROS Melodic, we had only written a line like plan is equal to self dot uh, underscore group dot plan. But for ROS Noetic, this plan function returns uh, multiple uh, variables. So the first is the uh, plan success uh, boolean, then the plan uh, plan, then it returns the planning time and the error code. So that's why uh, we needed to pass four variables here. If you only pass one, it will give you some error related to some tuples. So if you want to know more about this plan function for ROS Noetic or Melodic, you can use these links. So I will copy this link for ROS Noetic and I will open it in a browser. Paste the link here 
and press enter so if you scroll down uh, you will find the plan function somewhere so you can see here the plan function for the ross uh, noatic so here you can see it returns four variables the first one is the error code value then we have the plan then we have the planning time and the error code and if you open the url for ross melodic or the kinetic it is same for ross noatic uh, sorry melodic and kinetic so i have given the link for kinetic so uh, i think the same link is not available for uh, melodic so i have given the ross noatic sorry kinetic link so again if you check the plan function here so here you can see it only returns the plan function and on other hand for the uh, noatic it returns four variables so that's why uh, this uh, file for melodic was not working in ross noatic so i have made the appropriate changes from different references and uh, created this tutorial so now i think you can start using this file for ross noatic if you have any further queries please uh, mention them in the video description please like the video if you like my videos and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such more content and please share my videos with others Keep supporting my channel if you like my videos. Thank you so much.